the Casio G-Shock GMW B5000 full metal square. Check it out. I've had my eye on this watch for quite a while. When they first came out, they sold out very quickly. People were selling them for about 700 bucks, um, so I passed. The price has come down a lot. I picked this up from Hudson Bay for about $400. Definitely well worth it. Um, let's zoom in and take a closer look. So what a tribute to the 80s and so perfectly unique. This watch is odd and beautiful at the same time. I'm just gonna say I think it's the coolest G-Shock, coolest Casio ever made. This watch is always gonna look interesting on anyone's wrist, really big or small, man or woman. I even get more interest in this watch than almost any other that I wear. And uh, that's something considering it's monochromatic and fairly inexpensive. There's no flashy color here. It's just unique, retro. I think it really stands out. I just love the retro vibe of this watch. I honestly think if you asked somebody in the 1980s to design a futuristic watch for a movie, it would probably look like this. This just has such DeLorean vibes to it, kind of a cyberpunk vibe, if you're into that sort of thing. I know that's not for everyone, but for me, like, it just kills it. It's so spot on. Just look how sharp the finish is. I love the engraving, which I don't normally like too much of on a watch, but it suits this whole industrial 80s tech vibe. The watch is entirely stainless steel, so it has some weight to it, 167 grams to be exact. Brush marks adding to the industrial techie feel, but you'll see polish on some places as well, like these sunken circles on the bracelet, which look kind of like polished riveting or even a sort of a tank track vibe to them. So that's pretty cool as well. So you can get a few different versions of this. You can actually get a gold, which is kind of far out there for me. You can get the stainless with a rubber strap, which looks all right, but I still prefer the full stainless, keeps the vibe of the watch. Um, alternatively, my second favorite is the all black and then you can get this kind of uh, all black checkered theme um, which is a little more expensive but uh, if you're really into the 80s uh, tech theme that might be for you. Um, honestly though, my new favorite G-Shock on earth has all the benefits of a regular G-Shock but hey it just looks so cool, no question about it. The bracelet is pretty solid, let's zoom in and take a look at that too. Each link is held together by a spring bar, which I usually prefer, it makes it easier to size. The flex on this bracelet, considering that it's all metal, is quite great, it's got a lot of flex to it, so it's very comfortable to wear. Quick look at the clasp, you'll see that there are also uh, room for micro adjustments, which is nice. On the back, you'll see that it's a screw down back, which is always good. It's busy, but again, I think that suits this watch um, with the bold monochromatic scheme. You can kind of get away with more of this labeling Kind of makes it look a little more industrial, a little more techy. Quick look at the box and the tin for those who like presentation. It's cool, certainly no complaints about it. Display in the dark. It's a great display, you can't fault it. You can read it at any angle, it's crystal clear, no issues there. Let's take a look at the face again. We have the classic brick pattern around the display, which are also the solar cells. Love this brick pattern, it's given me all kinds of late 80s gaming vibes. We can also see by the obsessive labeling all that's going on with this watch. Water resistant, 20 bar, solar, Bluetooth, button pushers are of course all labeled. And notably these button pushers are slightly enlarged over the older model, which is a nice practical touch. The Bluetooth function is actually rather handy for making all the adjustments you want with the watch and it really makes use of this uh, kind of complicated watch a lot more simple. So considering what this watch was trying to accomplish, um, which is an interesting mix of classy, funky, and retro, I got nothing bad to say about it. It's perfect. It checks all the boxes for cool. It's functional. It's inexpensive. It's shock resistant. You could use this as a diving watch if you wanted to. It's got all the regular benefits of a G-Shock. So it's got the multiple alarm functions. It's got the multiple date functions. It's solar powered. There's nothing to criticize about it. It looks fantastic. It might not be for everybody. The style is a bit funky, but if you are looking for a funky watch, you like 80s style, this is your watch. It certainly is mine. Thanks for watching this quick review. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. Or if you want me to review something, please get a hold of me by email and we'll see you next time.